that. You don't even say that. Because a lot of people say I look like Mini Fresh. But my my girl, her dad, like, she had she had got caught, like, texting me or whatever when we was, like, 16. And he had went through a phone. And then he had went on her Facebook. And he was like, my daughter can't have no boyfriend, especially a Mini Fresh looking ass nigga. And my friends was going crazy. Everybody's going crazy. I'm like, damn, that's how y'all feel about me. Then everybody starts saying, like, damn, you really look like Manny Fresh. But I don't see it. I don't. I don't see it at all. So, hey, it is what it is. I came from another little nigga. I came from another little nigga. I came from another little nigga. I came from none. And I came from another little nigga. I came from no little nigga, I came from no little nigga, I came from none, I came from none, and I came from nothing. After me and Playboy Bar, we was like in the 12th grade, we just became seeing, we was finna do YouTube, and like, we was thinking of like some creative names, and I was just like, I'm on the go, like, and it stuck, it was like, damn, we were catching, and everybody started calling me that shit in school and shit, so it just stuck, and then I stopped doing YouTube, and I just kept with my rap stuff. You know, that? I've been rapping for a long time. I've been rapping since like I was a kid, but like studio wise, probably like 2016 when I first stepped in like a real studio and like recorded my like first song or whatever. I feel like we're doing great to me, to be honest. Being family basically, and you know, uh, with one being my, you know, my cousin, then one being my, uh, my goddad, and you know, just being. Involved and they didn't even know I rap. Like, actually, my manager had to tell them I rap, and then they like went on from there. Like, he was like, "Damn, he rap." And then they played on my music, and then they liked it. So that's with them. It's your entertainment. Like, just touring, going, uh, opening up for these little baby shows and stuff, and then they got a little side thing they got with the people that throw it. So it's kind of business, and then you know, relation with it too. You know. 50-50 with that. I feel like we on a we on the right path. I feel like there's nobody really messing with us right now. To to the things that we doing right now, we're going up on a different level than everybody else as in, as an independent label. Like like we doing a, we doing a lot of things and like a lot of great artists, you know. So short term, I feel like you know it really is no short term. We trying to take it long term as in like really. I feel like we can be the next QC. You want me to be honest, like, I feel like we can go in that route, we can go in that level. And if we just stick to what we're doing right now and then keep pushing, we can be the next QC. So I really say social, me social media and just keep making, like, just keep making music, keep making, try to keep making bangers as much as we can. You get a lot of DMs from people who want to work, and you get a lot of people who want to work free, and you got a lot of, you know, fans, and then, you know, it just, you go all the way through, you know. It's cool to me. I really like the network, but people really like the, like, I don't know. They see you not big, big, so they try to use you for, like, they want you to do stuff for free. I don't, I ain't that type of guy, like, I ain't finna, finna use my work. It's, like, basically my job, so. We doing that for free, it's like, uh, it's like with anybody though, it's like with any business, so, I don't know, but yeah, the DMs be crazy, we got a lot of people, you know, they be all over the place. I really got a lot, I really can't just say one, but if we can really talk about one, I have to say Drake, I have to say Drake off the bat. I say Lil Uzi Vert, I can't really say him, but I can, R.P. Juice World, and then... I'll probably go with a future, a f uh, yeah, a future. I'll probably go with a future. Or probably Young Thug. Uh, single Wise, Banjo. And we're working on Baby Go 2 right now. I really don't even remember how I really came up with that song. I was just sitting in my room and I was just listening to beats. And I was on a game and then I just paused the game. And then I just heard that, I heard, I was listening to the beat. I don't know. Like, I really get in that groove sometimes when I know, all right, this finna be like, this finna be it. When I can just snap on it just like that, this finna be it. And then that's how I felt with that one. And I just ran it that same day, and then I was straight to record it. It's crazy because we had a studio session that Saturday, and then boom, 
I just went straight to record it. I was like, damn. But it's a crazy, interesting story about that song, though. They did not like it. And uh, we went and worked with Black, uh, Black and Mild, one of the top producers in New Orleans. We went to work with him and we played him a song. Told him that they said they didn't like it. He was like, nah. He was like, this fire, this hot. He was like, this can't be skipped. This can't be looked over. And then that's when I guess they had to give it a few more listens. And then they was just like, this is it. So that's the song we really pushing right now. You really just want to be, you want to be consistent. And you want to, you want to grind hard. Like you want to really, first you really have to have it. Like, and then it shouldn't be something you want to do for the money. It should be something that you love to do. And you love to do something, of course, it brings the best out of you. And so, you know, you should love to do it. And then you just got to grind and you got to be consistent. You got to be on it 24-7, especially to be signed to Wing Street. But, like, message to anybody trying to do music. You just want to be creative. You want to make sure you love it. And then you want to be consistent when you want to ground hard and because really these days it really ain't even about the music no more it's about what you can bring to social media it's all wrapped around social media if you can you know bring a crowd to your social media without even your music being good that's it that's all you got to do look at all these jj fish all right look at all these look at all these artists you got a lot of artists that really ain't even that you know you know, they're there, so you just got to bring it to the table, be creative, and grind. My name is Mind the Gold. Once again, go stream Banjo on all streaming platforms, Spotify, Apple Music, SoundCloud, YouTube. Go follow me on Instagram at M-O-N-D-U-H-G-O-A-T. Appreciate the love. Yeah.